Hey there, my name is Deandra and I love the cosmetics in Overwatch. I wanted to do a little video highlighting things like obscure little details or unique effects you may have missed. None of the facts in this video will help you climb, but they might make you go, huh, neat. Alright, let's get started with my favourite one. You know Widow Scorpion's skin? Well, Venom Mine has a cute little tail on it to fit the theme. Brigitte's Overwatch 2 redesign almost certainly had a crown originally that was scrapped, as seen in her Ice Queen epic. A crown could also be seen in her silhouette profile icon until it was removed in an update and in an old PvE screenshot. The crown itself appears to be modelled after Reinhardt. Mercy Snow Angel skin has a little halo and that halo disappears when she activates Valkyrie for some reason. Kiriko's Overwatch League skins change the colour of her fox depending on the team. You can actually see this in game as well as the fox runs along the blooming gate. This is also the case with her terrible tornado skin, but it's not as noticeable as the others. Tons, if not the majority of Overwatch skins have parts to them that glow in the dark, which you don't really get to see in game. Here's a couple of my favourites. You've got Starship Arissa, EDM Diva, Atlantic Mercy, Inferno Junkrat, and Ice Queen Brick, but this is nowhere near all of them. With Symmetra's Magician skin, the turrets have a cute little wand coming out of them, and on her epic vampire skin, there's spooky little eyeballs which go really well with this mouth spray from Halloween. Hi there! Cassidy's Sherlock skin has a rare voice line for eliminating Winston. Elementary, my dear Winston. So High Roller is the only Wrecking Ball skin where he has glasses on, and during his dramatic highlight intro, they will fall off. Doomfist has a San Francisco Shock skin named Thunder, and when he lands after ulting, you can see a nod to the team imprinted into the ground. And talking of Doomfist, equipping Sighty Armor will play this music. There's also sound effects for equipping Baptiste's Funky skin, and Pink Mercy. Also, also, Cardboard Reinhardt has a very muffled sound as well. Symmetra's personality in Overwatch 1 often revolved around structure, order, and being a perfectionist. This makes the tiny strand of hair in her Overwatch 2 redesign really cool, because it shows that she's grown past that and is allowing herself to embrace her flaws. Soldier 76's Grillmaster has a couple of neat details like this custom voice line for dropping his biotic field. One that's easy to miss though is how Respect Your Elders turns into this. Respect the chef. Wrecking Ball's A Ball skin makes the sound of pool balls being smacked when he ults. The various Pachamari weapon charms play a squeak sound when you hover over them. However, it is extremely quiet. In my previous Useless Facts video, I mentioned that Jeff Kaplan said in a now deleted forum post that Junkrat's canteen was full of boba, half sweet. Well, during Overwatch 2, Junkrat got an emote where he's drinking exactly that, possibly to take the mind off his extreme back pain that comes from having such a f***ed up spine. Farah's left shoulder pad isn't attached to anything in quite a few of her skins. If you look closely, it just sort of floats in some of them. Tracer's comic book skin makes cartoon sound effects when you melee. <laughs> Image is not included. Also, there is basically the same thing with the sprays. Whack. Bang. Whack. Bang. So, when Sombra holds her hack out, the colour is purple, right? Well, Cyberspace makes it more bluish and seems to be the only skin that changes it. Even the recolour named Augmented doesn't seem to change it. Hanzo's casual skin didn't always look the way it does today. When it was first released, some of the hair and beard was a silvery grey instead of the faded black we have now. The reason it got changed was because, well, everyone was complaining about it. Reinhardt's conductor skin plays a train sound effect when he charges. Ah! Arissa has this halt emote, and I thought it was cute that the eyes changed colour. What's even better though is that if you have the referee skin equipped, she blows her whistle. Baby Diva's blaster guns all have a little unique charm, ranging from a bee or dolphin to bells and charms. On her academy skin, she has this, and apparently the text says Hannah in Korean, which is her first name. So when Symmetra reloads, there's a flash of blue light on the side of her gun. This is changed to purple with Oasis and red with Dragon. The Hydra recolor sadly seems to be broken because there's no light at all. If we include pants, hat, button, and tattoo, Roadhog's Pachamari skin has 28 patches on it. Widowmaker has a victory pose called Surveillance, and the position slash angle of her legs slightly differs in a few skins. I assume this is to avoid any unfortunate shots and also clipping issues. 
a lot of heroes have tombstone victory poses from past Halloween events, and Divas has some Doritos behind it. Mercy Sugar Plum Fairy Skin has jiggle physics on the ears. It is really hard to notice, but Widow's Huntress skin has vampire bite marks in the side of her neck. So, Lucio's jazzy skin. You probably know that it plays different music when switching modes, however, something a lot of people miss is that it changes his turn it up in my headphones voice line into... Turn it up in my can! Sombra's guns have the current ammo count displayed on them in hexadecimal, apart from Face Changer, which shows her current face. Genji leaves behind a green trail during one of his emotes and one of his highlight intros. It's even green in his mythic skin, and the one place it changes is an old epic skin called Nihon, where it's red. Cassidy's summer lifeguard skin changes his tumbleweed into a beach ball, while Torbjorn Surf and Splash makes his hammer squeaky. That's smart. Ah! And last of all, on May's Luna skin and its recolor, you can see a little moon dial on her gun that wanes as the ammo is depleted. And that is all from me. This video is a bit different to my usual content, but we're heading towards the end of the season, and I just kind of wanted to do something fun. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe, and have a nice day.